Have you ever wondered why the noses on rockets and spaceships are rounded instead of pointy? You would think that the nose would be streamlined, like that of a bullet or an airplane, to help it move through all that air. When you move through air very quickly, you build up a lot of heat and friction from all those air particles that you need to push out of the way. But while a more streamlined approach might work on airplanes or bullets, it doesn't work for spacecraft or rockets because of how much faster they need to travel. If a rocket had a pointy nose, there'd be so much heat generated from it that it would completely destroy the rocket, and at the moment there is no practical material for which to make heat shields out of that could correct for this problem. Another problem that streamlined rockets might face are the shock waves that are created at the nose of the craft due to the air being compressed. These shock waves, if they come into contact with the spacecraft, can cause significant damage. This is much more likely to happen on rockets that have a more streamlined shape. To solve this problem, engineers discovered that using a more rounded nose still created the shock waves but deflected them far enough away from the craft to keep the rocket safe. This was of great importance to the space shuttle, as when it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, it's travelling at 18,000 miles an hour and it is very important that nothing damages the wings so that it can land safely. The topic of rocket and spacecraft design is very interesting, and I hope you learned something new about it from this video. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below, and there's more information in the text box as well.